how to get your normal weight while traveling and being a nomad. The van life, the camper van life, how to keep your weight stable, how to lose weight, how to become your normal weight of what your body type is. There are so many opinions out there. You can leave yours down below on what you think. But because there's so many new opinions, there's so much new research out there, I'm going to let you know how I keep my weight while I'm a nomad. I'm going to also let you know right off that, I mean, I've had a few moments in my life when I overate and I put on maybe 10 pounds. It's not a lot, but I do have a tendency to be addicted to food sometimes. I have done binge eating before and I've overstuffed myself at times because it just tastes good and I wanted to keep eating. Sometimes I can be a stress eater, but as a nomad, I'm keeping my weight. My weight dropped down after I became a nomad. Right away, I dropped like five, 10 pounds. And one of the ways that I did it, I found as a nomad, is that I'm constantly moving, constantly moving. But in my opinion, I think eating habit has a lot to do with it. You could eat and eat and eat all day long exercise in between, get going. But you know what? It's, it's not going to help. The exercise will help. I shouldn't say that. But it's, it's not going to overcompensate for you eating too much. So we have to bring our eating down. We just have to keep your eating, because a lot of times you're eating and you're not hungry. So I would say, are you hungry before you even eat? Sometimes I'm not overly hungry, but they do say the best appetite is when you eat on an empty stomach. When you really are hungry, food tastes so good. Well, I'm going to talk about what I eat. Now, what I do, I'm going to make a salad. I, well, I'll talk while I'm making my salad. Salad, oh, how cliche. Uh, people say, uh, eat a salad every once in a while. You know, if they see somebody heavy. Well, that's not a bad idea. Salad is really good for us because it has a lot of produce in it, fresh foods. I saw a documentary once that said eating 50% during the one day of raw and then the other 50% can be cooked. How many of us are eating raw foods, fresh produce, uncooked produce? I like to do a lot of it. You know, lately though, seriously, I haven't been. It's been um, maybe going to restaurants and sometimes I don't really like that food so I don't eat. And then sometimes I will come into my van and I will find myself hungry. What, what was I eating? What, what? Today I was, I, oh, I got really too hungry right off the bat. I exercised, I had, a, I had to finish up a video and I grabbed these scoop Frito things. Now, probably not the best. I try my best not to eat a lot. But I'll tell you right now, this is where I keep my produce. I hang it up like it's in a galley. Let's take a peek at this. Yesterday, I bought some lettuce. Lettuce will keep about two, three, this is the third day for lettuce. I've got onion and I've got cucumber that I, and it's still really good even when it was warm last night. And what else do I have right now? I've got three honey crisp apples. I need to eat these pretty soon. But this is what I keep it up to here and I tie it up. That was not in my way. But I'm going to keep this out because. Let's have a salad, um, some ranch dressing. You know, I don't know how great that dressing is. Some of you have mentioned craft, it's got some monosodium glutamate, so, but I don't have a fridge. I do not carry a fridge. Paul carries a fridge. In fact, what do I have in there that's mine? He's holding my salsa. You told me way back that salsa, if it gets too warm or it can spoil and then actually become poison. Um, so I don't, we, we're real careful with that. Um, but there's salsa in Paul's fridge, his ice box. 
But I don't like to keep a lot in there because guess what? I mean, we're not connected at the hip. We love each other. Oh, yeah. But sometimes I'm hungry. I don't feel like running over to his van. I spend a lot of time in my van. He spends a lot of time in his van. Um, we don't spend every minute of every day together. So I don't like to put a lot in there. Salsa I have to. If I open a thing of salsa. So let's keep going on a salad. Um, eggs. I would love to eat eggs. Eggs in the morning. Eggs are so good for you. But again, I don't really want to eat egg in the morning and eggs are, would be way over there in his icebox. So a lot of times what I do when we go to a restaurant, especially in the morning, you know what I do? I order two eggs. That's all I order. Two eggs um, over medium. And that's what I eat. That's all I eat are the two eggs. So I mean, that's a possibility, too, if you go to the restaurant with somebody. I don't know if you'd run to the restaurant and say, I want two eggs. Well, a lot of you are in homes. Just get your eggs and eat them. And this is advice for, for people at home, too. But especially for nomads, we can keep busy. I am constantly on the go. But let's go with the food aspect right now. And I'll put this up. What else do I eat? I'd like to make burritos. I like to do beans and um let's see beans and then the flour part it makes it a complete protein a burrito like cheese for a protein i like chicken i know some of you are vegetarians cool i used to, i i've done vegetarianism yeah a, a long actually vegetarian i've been a vegetarian a long time I went about nine months being a vegan. That's interesting. I mean, that's fine. Let me get a plate. I'll use my plate, my knife, and my fork. There we go. I'll talk and you can watch me here. I've already washed my hands, so don't worry about that. I'm just going to tear some off. I do like iceberg. For me, I do like iceberg. I know that other uh, lettuces can be more nutritious, but sometimes for me, it's too labor intensive. Um, I thought about getting a bullet so I can just put it in a bullet and kind of drink it. That would be pretty cool. That way I would get a lot more um, nutrients, but I do like uh, iceberg. And they have found that iceberg does have good nutrition in it. But this makes for a really, just a healthy, I'm just gonna make a small salad for us, okay? I'm gonna put this back in. I keep it open so it can get air. get my cucumber peeled I do cucumbers last this is going on the third day for a cucumber and it's hot in Tucson um, a lot of people say the lectins and tomatoes aren't good for you I still do eat tomatoes I don't eat a lot of them but I do eat them uh, garlic is really good I wouldn't mind just um, sauteing some garlic and onions and you could put it maybe in a burrito I over here they have like really good authentic Mexican burritos. I get the big ones. I get the kind I probably has lard in it. Maybe, maybe not. I know I can't read it yet. But I do like them. They're thinner, they're more moist, and they roll really easy to make a good burrito. But you could put this in a burrito. You can put veggies in in, in a tortilla and wrap it up. Um as long as you're um I think they do have gluten free, don't they? Let's go ahead and just quarter this. Let's see what else. Uh, oranges last a long time. A grapefruit would last a while. I do like the, uh, I only like honey, honey crisp apples. Um, they're easier for me to chew. This is going to be more of a cucumber. <laughs> Look at this. And I love these. Um, they're more oblong. They're more like a cylinder than an oval. And they're called um, uh, sweet, uh, sweet onions. Sweet onions. That's the only kind I like now. I'm getting persnickety. But 
this is a good healthy way to eat while you're on the road. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you can eat, but I say eat some raw foods, at least 50% during the day. I am just cutting on this board. This board is a good board. I got this one at Ikea. It's a, you, they still sell them in Ikea. I'm just going to put, I love onions. You know I love these onions now. I'm still doing those little sandwiches. Those little um, Walmart buns. I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to stick this back in here. It's good for tonight. I do want to make Paula salad in a little bit. I want him to start eating a little bit healthier. He loves to do restaurants, but I want him to be around a long time, right? So he didn't do a lot of cooking. He didn't do hardly any cooking. And when he was, you know, married, his, um, Paul's first wife is a wonderful woman. The mother of his two wonderful boys. Oh yeah. And they both are professionals. They both have wonderful wives themselves. And a shout out to all of his family. Um, it was his second wife that is my stalker, uh, his ex-wife, and uh, she can't get over. So, um, he, but Paul did help raise his boys, her boys, and um, just thought I'd put that out there. <laughs> yeah, but um, his two previous relationships is um, he di he didn't do a lot of the cooking. So right now I'm kind of showing him how to cook and how to eat healthy. And as he knows now how to make his own burritos, uh, what to put in them. We get the, he gets the, the, um, oh, what's it? I know, whoops, um, refried beans and a can of refried beans and what he does. And then he puts a little can of the green chili chopped and he puts those together. Then he builds like three or four out of that. He builds like three or four burritos puts cheese in there, maybe some salsa, rolls them in a paper towel, and then rolls them in a paper towel after he rolls the tortillas. And then he puts it in a baggie and puts them in his cooler so he can take it out because he has that microwave over there. Okay, I've got this. It doesn't look that exciting because I don't have tomatoes, but let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you these. I really, I know it's just, for some reason, these are just, they're almost like um, little street uh, buns, you know, they're, they're small. 100 calories for this, and then I can make myself, I got an extra, I can make myself like an onion, um, cheese, and pickle sandwich. Ugh. Added with mustard and mayo. Now here's a little bit of Mexican for cheese. I'm just going to put a little cheese on here. You we'll put a little bit of cheese on here. Now the cheese is a little melty because it does get warm. Just a little bit to give it a little bit of flavor. There we go. A little bit more. It's oily because it's so warm. The cheese is warm. Let me get my hands cleaned up here. A little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Push it. Push it. <laughs> you remember. I think I've mentioned a billion times my daughter would play that song. And my, um, my granddaughter, when she was like two, two years old, oh, I've got a video. It was on her birthday. She's going, <laughs> push it, push it. Yeah. It's cute. I do like pepper. A lot. How about a little tarragon? I like tarragon. So maybe this will be a little bit more interesting than just lettuce. Looks good to me. So now what I'm gonna do 
what am I going to do? I'm going to drizzle a little organic. Um, we're supposed to be eating a lot of olive oil. Let me just get a look. Let you see. Just a little bit. There we go. And what else? Let's see what I got in here. I got all kinds of stuff. This, I think I do have the Blue Ranch. I buy this from Amazon, but I think I'm gonna go with Italian. I read that the Italian, I don't think the Italian has sodium um, glutamate in it. So you know I always share, here's yours. May too, here's mine. Mm. I'm going to tell you right now, just that little piece is good. So fresh, fresh produce, fresh foods, okay? When you feel full, stop. You know when you feel full, just stop eating. Even if you want to uh, package it up, put it in your refrigerator at home, or... If you have a cooler, you can just go ahead and put it in a baggie. Sometimes I like these big baggies. This will just fit right in the baggie. That way it's covered. Right. I do canned chicken as a nomad. Um, one of the things that's really gonna help is to cut out the sugar, cut out the candy, cut out the sugar. If you'd want to lose weight now, I would cut it out completely. Then maybe later you can introduce, maybe uh, give yourself like a treat. If you really, I don't have to lose weight. I'm at, at a good weight, but because, and that's only because I try to eat pretty good, not perfect, but I try to eat good and I'm constantly exercising, constantly walking. So this is the eating portion, the food portion of this series. I'm gonna do a series about health as a nomad. But this goes for you in your home too. Oh yeah, this is just for you too. Now actually what I could do is take that, it's not that much, maybe half of it, and I could roll it in, in a burrito, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Um, this is my advice. I know that some of you want to get in shape or you want to maybe take off a few pounds. Let's just do a series. I'm gonna be your cheerleader. I think this might call for like three different videos, one after the other, because I'm already, looks like I was already, I don't want this to be a huge long video. This is gonna be part one. This is about eating right. Next one is gonna be on moving keeping your body moving. This is one of the most important parts about your eating. Cut back, make smaller, get smaller plates, whatever you need to do. And the second one will be on exercise. The third one will be a lot more on up here. But I will tell you that really, really, this whole thing of your how you look or how you present yourself to the world and to your friends, it's really up here. And in number three, I want to help you and help you with organizing some visualizations that you can do and how you I can you can see yourself because once you get it up here, you'll hold it in your hand and you can visualize what you want. What do I want my body to do? What do I want my body to look like and do what I want it to do? So we'll get to that too. But until then, everybody, go eat a salad. Go get some, um, go get a strawberry. Go get, try to cut back on your fruit a little bit. It's got fructose in it. But get going, uh, steam some carrots. Julienne some carrots and munch on them during the day. Get going with your, your raw foods. Your body wants raw foods. 
I know that a lot of vitamins have been depleted out of our soil, so just get going with some, do the best you can do, and just start, the, the best thing you can do is just do it. Eat some raw foods and some, some um, you know, nutritious live food. So, okay, I will see you tomorrow. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Oh, I know, I got to now. This is, I have, <laughs> I have one. I have one of these left. Who will take it? Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I know. So, um, it goes with a lot of different things, especially with jeans. Oh my gosh. And it looks kind of smart, don't you think? There you go. Here's your salad, everybody. Eat a salad. There you go.